38-year-old Yu Wa Han appeared in Superior Court again today after a judge extended her magistrate hearing last week in order to find a Chinese interpreter for her. Han is charged in the brutal and apparently random stabbing of a baby and the child's father outside the Lone Star restaurant last week. But Pacific News Center has learned the attack is only the latest in a series of run-ins Han has had with local authorities over odd behavior and violence. Police have said Han has previously made threats against Governor Felix Camacho, and last year, court documents reveal she faced charges for attempting to assault an immigration consultant in her office. The court documents also note that federal immigration officials denied her applications for American citizenship due to previous violent episodes. But when it comes to the mental health care system's efforts to prevent Han from causing any further trouble, it appears the system failed. A confidential source tells Pacific News Center that Han was previously put in the custody of the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse for an evaluation, only to be released 48 hours later after workers deemed her to be no longer a danger to herself or others. However, the department's staff have declined to comment on whether or not Han was a patient at its facility, saying health care laws bar them from revealing any information about her or any treatment she received. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.